What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know it has been a little bit, but I am trying to kind of figure out a somewhat reliable upload schedule. Maybe once a week, maybe once every week and a half. With schoolwork, again, it's been difficult, but I'm trying to figure something out, okay? Anyways, it is Friday afternoon. I'm going to link up with Callum. We may go get some food. I really don't know what is happening in today's video. I have no plans for this weekend, so hopefully something cool happens. Look at this guy's Jeep. That is sick. Unfortunately, as summer comes to an end and fall starts to come upon us, not as many things are happening. Not as many people come out, that's for sure, because honestly, it is a little cold outside. But of course, as you guys know it, I am still going to be outside and making content. And I can say with 100% certainty that there are some really awesome projects in the work that you guys will love to see. In two and a half weeks, I am headed off to BWI International Airport yet again for another trip. This time I'm going somewhere I have never been before, so get ready for such an awesome vlog happening in about early November. There he is, there's Callum. He's on the other side of the road though, so I don't know how we're gonna make this work. Okay, I think we have decided that we are going to go to McDonald's. I also think Grady is here, so it's kind of a link up and eating at the same time. I thought I'd run into you in here. Okay, so we ate our meal and we made the financially smart decision and we bought 13 cookies. 13 McDonald's freshly baked cookies. It was only $5 too. It looks it's like, so good. I know, they, they look awesome. All right, let's, let's eat them. It's like they just baked it. It's a good five bucks. <laughs> it's kind of funny though, they came in a chicken McNugget box. All right, it's literally an hour later. We finally came outside of McDonald's. It, it, it's dark out already. In the fall, it literally gets dark out at like 6.30. It kind of sucks. I, I'm not a huge fan of it. I love being able to be out and it gets dark at like 9.30. Not 9.30, like 8.30. An extra two hours of daylight is awesome. All right, boys, before today's video continues on, I want to show you guys the brand new Halloween merch shop. We got me with a Lamborghini Aventador on the back, a pumpkin with O-lines on it on the front. Since it is fall now, I'm making long sleeve t-shirts, and honestly, the quality of these is unreal. So go get yourself one of these limited Halloween shirts at olinesmerch.com. All right, on with the video. Okay, it is the next day. Not too much happened last night. I got to film some time lapses though and I went out to eat. Unfortunately, this morning it is raining outside, but that does not mean things are not gonna happen though. I am going out to eat with Millie and a couple of her friends at Noodles & Company. And then we're gonna go walk around the plaza and then maybe go to Target. So it's gonna be kind of a chill day. Hopefully I get some content in and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. camera section. They don't have much inventory, but they have some stuff. And then Target also has like the video game station, so I'm gonna do that too. This is literally the exact tripod I always use. The Joby tripod. They're so good. I did not buy mine for almost $70. Target is way upselling these. I got mine on the Joby website for like 50 so as we walked in the store, and I, and I held up this little thing and said, Look at the Christmas tree. and she asked me if I would buy it for her, and I said yes, because she doesn't want to spend three dollars on it. It's a I, Christmas tree. But then she said, but I don't want to spend three dollars on this, so we're just gonna each buy it, but yeah. it's a gift for the other person, so it's like you feel. Good, so you, so yeah. you feel good about yourself because you're buying it, but you don't feel like you're spending three dollars on yourself. Exactly, because I don't want to spend three dollars on this, but I don't want three dollars on that. I don't want to spend. Him. What and, is it? I don't show me, show me. And I don't, don't want to spend three dollars on gummy brains, oh. but I want them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like a gift okay. for the other person. Guys, I have found the greatest section in Target, and it's not even the camera section. Oh my gosh! It's a remote control Porsche GT3. I should not have even come into the store. I'm literally gonna buy every single model car here. 
These look so much fun though, the giant RC trucks, but this, this is really stuck out to me because it's only like $10. Also, I literally cannot find Millie. I'm with the other girls, but we don't know where Millie went. Oh. There she is. There's no way. <laughs> I thought you were like lost. People watching this video are gonna think this is like fake. We literally lost you and we found you and you're playing with a baby dogs. baby piano. No, it's not just the baby piano. We finally got a basket. All right, we just finally headed to check out. Look yes. at this, it's so perfect. You can give them a Halloween I wouldn't survive two hours of Target. I barely survived two hours of Target. We were in there for so long. <laughs> I got gummies though. Oh, I got a Hot Wheels car too. I got a Hot Wheels car. And I'm talking to everyone. Like we, got, we got a phone call, we got a camera, and we got people in the car. They're gummy brains. Let me try it. It's like, a, it's like a gusher. Can you have your camera so I can record a haul? Yeah. Okay. Okay, vlog. I got these socks and they no, have no. little taco dinosaurs on them. And then I got go, trail go bench. I have some quite unfortunate news for Savannah Park. Ben, one of my friends last night, who you guys know, rides that quad around sometimes. If you're a longtime viewer, you know that right at the beginning of summer, he took it to the last day of school. Uh oh, administration, bro. All right, boys, in the last video you saw, we took the dirt bike to the gas station, but now, now we have the whole quad. This is hilarious. That's the last time it's pretty much been out. That looks hilarious. She has dreads. But anyways, after I had gone home, Ben decided to take the quad out with some of our friends, and it was all going good so far, but as they went to get gas for it at 7-Eleven, a cop pulled up and decided to impound it. Uh, roll the clip. Crazy, bro. So yeah, that was a little unfortunate, kind of funny. I think the fine to get out of the impound is literally like $500, so. It's a mess. I don't condone riding the four-wheeler on the street, but it was pretty funny. Wait, let me show them my dreads. She got, she got dreads. But guys, in other news, we have the RC car from Target charged and ready to go. Do you want to drive it? Forward, turn. Forward. Oh my gosh. I don't think the dogs like it very much. Dude, he's gonna eat it! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! All right, everybody. So, to end off today's vlog, we're gonna end with like a sort of product review kind of thing. I got this thing in the mail a couple months ago, and I still have never opened it. So today is the first time we're going to do it. Hello, my name is Jenny and I'm the owner of Weekapoo. I wanted to personally thank you. Let's go. User manual. Oh my goodness, I haven't even told you what it is. Why is it not coming undone? By the way, it's supposed to be an inflatable couch. I'm so confused. There's like 25 steps to this. To watch the video on how to do this, that's what I will be doing. There we go. Holy crap, this thing is way bigger than I thought. See, we gotta get it from from that to this. Feels like I'm setting up a tent. There's like three different openings to the thing. Okay, in conclusion, I think I have to go outside for this. Uh, one second. When I said this thing was longer than my table, I wasn't kidding. Okay, I'm gonna run around my backyard to see if I can pull this thing up, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it standing. I mean, I'm doing what the video said, but it's like not, it's like not working. Okay, I'll watch the video probably three times now. And I think I'm gonna try it again. If this doesn't work this time, either I'm doing it completely wrong and I don't understand it, or the product just isn't that great. Is that better than last time? I don't know. No! 
Does mine just like not work? This is my last attempt. If it doesn't work, I'm putting it away forever and I'm never gonna get out ever again. It says you're supposed to open it up, trap air, close it fast enough, and then repeat the process like three times. So then you have air in it, and then you do the other side, open it, trap air, and close it. And then you and then you use the, the buckle and you go like that to where it's like kind of sealed. Then you buckle it. Okay, here we go. Oh! Okay, I'm not gonna give it a bad review because I'm probably not doing it correctly. But with my three or four times that I tried to do it, it was not working. Maybe, maybe I wasn't filling it up enough. I don't know. I'm gonna try it again off camera, see if I can get it. But so far, I cannot get it. It's been like 25 minutes. Now I'm sure this product is really, really cool if done correctly, but in 30 minutes of doing it, my 16 year old self could not figure it out. I watched the video like four times and it just wasn't working. Part of the issue is probably because I couldn't get it blown up all the way, but it still doesn't make any sense. Okay, I really did not want to end today's vlog on a bad note, so I went on YouTube right after I ended that last clip and I was like, there's gotta be someone who's done a review on this, and there has been, and I figured out how to do it. What was going wrong with this when it was leaking air is that I wasn't rolling it and then fastening it. The company's video didn't say to do that, but the person's review on YouTube did say to do that, so I'm gonna do that now and I'm, I'm really hoping it works. Here's the final test. Yes! It works! There's like a pillow too. It feels like I'm in like an inflatable kayak. On the company's website though, there was pictures of people using this in the water, so it does float and you can use it as an inflatable. I take back everything bad that I said. I didn't really say anything bad. I was just like, I couldn't figure it out. But I finally figured it out after like, what's well, been like an hour since I started unboxing this thing. This is awesome. I wish I did it right from the start. This is cool, something I would definitely keep with me in the future. Yeah, this thing is gigantic. I was gonna try to fit it in my room, and my room is like decently sized, but this is, I don't know how well this is gonna fit. I'm gonna take my like table out of here and see if it'll fit on the floor. Whoa, see look. Oh my gosh, I was just locked my camera off my table. I don't know what I'm gonna use it, but thank you. <laughs>